If you look really closely at a tree, you may notice something peculiar. Each branch of a tree looks like a smaller tree growing out of the trunk. So why does it grow like this? Well, to answer this question, let's take a deep dive into the world of fractals. Let's say you're a tree and you want to grow to be as big as possible. One way to grow is to create two more branches, which are basically clones of yourself, and tell them both to start growing. This way you can grow at an exponential rate. Since each branch of a tree is a clone of the original tree, this tree is self-similar. Which means that a part of the shape is similar to the whole shape. This self-similar structure isn't just easier to grow into, it's also easier to distribute resources through. This isn't just special for trees, many things in nature are self-similar. Broccoli, ferns, coastlines, lightning, even the human body. Well, trees from nature aren't perfectly self-similar because nature isn't perfectly ordered, but in the world of math, we can define perfectly self-similar shapes. Let's go check some out. In mathematics, a shape that is self-similar is called a fractal. Take this shape, for example, called a Sierpinski tetrahedron. This shape is perfectly self-similar because it's composed of four smaller shapes, each of which are identical to itself. All right, that's cool, but a little too predictable, eh? Well then, let's take a trip to one of the most mysterious fractals in all of mathematics, the Mandelbrot set. The Mandelbrot set lives in the complex plane, which is basically the normal real numbers, but with i included. i is defined as the square root of negative one, with this number, we can define a whole new set of numbers called the complex numbers, which cover the whole plane. Now, how do we create the Mandelbrot set? First, let's draw this circle. Then, let's pick a random complex number C inside this circle. Then, I'll construct a sequence by starting at zero and applying the following two-step procedure. Square the number, add C. I'll repeat these instructions over and over again until the number goes outside the boundary of this circle. Depending on the number of steps that takes, I'll color C with a certain color. If I had instead chosen this value of C, and the sequence never leaves this circle, then C is part of the Mandelbrot set, and I'll color it black. If I do this procedure for all the values of C in this circle, I end up with a picture of the Mandelbrot set. The pattern of self-similarity is seen in just about every living thing on the planet. Indeed, fractals seem to be a fundamental part of nature. And who knows, maybe by studying mathematical fractals, we can uncover some of the secrets of the universe.